and we're live. Yes, we are. Cool. And now we wait. Hello, good morning. going on to the two people that are here if you want to talk to me great if not also great we'll get started in a little bit um this morning i do ask you have a strap if you do not have a strap you can use a blanket you can use a scarf you can use a sleeve of a hoodie have something because it's it's going to be helpful use a t-shirt doesn't matter just get something that can be strap like to you and i'll explain why in a little bit Hello, other person. Hi, Annie. Good morning or afternoon. No, it's still morning for one minute. I'm not wrong. Oh. I'm going to go get some more water. I will be back and then we will begin and it'll be great. Who else is here? Time to go hunting for something. Yes. So strap, scarf, shirt, blanket. Yeah. For example, if you have like this blankety thingy, that, and then you'll be able to do some things with it. You won't need it for the whole class. It's mostly in the beginning to give some suggestions and such. But uh, yeah, if Rachel, you can let me know when you're back. I'll probably determine when we get started. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why I'm doing this. It looks like a little cinnamon bun. Where's a hat? It's a hat, definitely a hat. Ooh, ooh. Hat. 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 Going a little crazy in quarantine, if you can't tell. Found jeans. Perfect. Those will work. All right. I will wait about one more minute. Uno minutes. Un momento. And I uh, will get started. Hello to the other person who joined or rejoined us. Welcome. We'll get started very soon. Oh, uh, yeah, all good things. So for this morning, I don't have a particular playlist in mind. Play whatever music you would like. It'll be a vinyasa flow, but in the beginning, it's going to be a lot of tips on warming up and loosening out the shoulders and the wrist as per suggested, because like a lot of us work from home right now. And we're like these goblins over our computer. So We'll be warming up those and doing things like that. Good morning, Rachel. Um, in addition to those warm ups, a lot of the poses I'll also have suggestions of how to open up the shoulders and do things with the wrist. You do not have to do those suggestions in the normal poses, mostly because this will be a lot and I don't want your shoulders and your wrist to be super sore tomorrow. I want a nice dull ache where you're just like, oh, I worked those out, but I don't want you to be in pain. So really listen to your body. If you want to do something great, if not, also great. I'm just like, do this thing in Warrior 2. It feels wonderful. And you're just like, it doesn't. Then just be in Warrior 2. That's fine. 
Okay, so as always, a little disclosure this morning. Um, by agreeing to participate in this practice, you are holding yourself accountable and responsible for your body and what goes on. So take breaks, come out of poses if they don't feel good. Uh, yeah, don't go crazy. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me either in the little chat or definitely after the class. I'm all ears. Um, again, have a strap or jeans of pants or a blanket in the beginning because we'll be doing some fun shoulder stuff. And I think that's about it. Yeah. So we will start today in corpse pose or shavasana. So starting with the end today as our beginning. So I will meet you laying down onto the mat. You don't need our strap just yet. I'm just moving it around. So lay yourself all the way down. Take some wiggle. See where you might feel tense or tight. Flutter the eyes closed and start focusing on your breath. And actually, before the eyes flutter close, it might be a little hard to see, but take a look towards your shoulders and see if they potentially round up like mine do. And if they do, very gently maybe wiggle walk them in just a hair so you're not in this full extension of the spine, but you're just trying to get your shoulders a little bit closer and flatter to the mat. You'll find a little bit of lift potentially with your low back, but you don't want it to be too excessive. Just see how this feels. Take a few breaths here. Begin to slow down your breath, really filling the belly up, feeling the chest rise. And as you exhale, the chest falls, the belly empties. If you've wiggle walked your shoulders in, you can wiggle walk them back out and allow them to rest naturally as they normally do. Allow yourself to completely let go of everything here. The mat, the ground, the floor will support you fully. You don't need to hold any tension anywhere. And while you're here, really take notice and stock of your body. See what areas are touching the mat, what areas aren't. See where you might feel a little bit of tension. See where you feel ultimate release. Make a little checklist of this in your mind, as we will return here at the end of the practice, and maybe you'll notice some things that are different. And maybe you won't yet, but that doesn't mean the more you practice, that doesn't mean that the more that you will practice, you'll notice change through more practices. So take five more slow, deep, deep breaths here. One more full deep breath together. Exhale, let it go side out. Beautiful. Let's flutter the eyes open now. We're going to bend our knees and plant our feet just in front of our glutes. You might wiggle walk or kind of lift and place your spine, your low back a little further down. You can rest your hands at your sides, palms facing down. We're starting with a little bit of back bending here with bridge pose. So I normally suggest that we start by tucking the tailbone and lifting the hips, but I want to start with our leg engagement. So instead of focusing on tucking the tailbone and lifting the hips, you're going to focus really on pressing into your feet and sending your knees away from you, and that's going to get the lift with your body. So we'll all start down. We'll take one full cleansing breath here. Good. As you inhale, press your palms, press your feet, start to send the knees away from you as your whole 
quads, core, chest, lift up. And hold here in traditional bridge pose, gazes up at the ceiling. One more full deep breath. We'll inhale here. And exhale, begin to lower the spine back down to the mat. And take one moment here. We'll get ready to go again. Press the palms, press the feet. Send the knees away from you as we lift everything up. Keep the shoulders planted onto the mat. Get a little bit of engagement with your arms by spreading your fingertips. Beautiful. One more full deep breath here. We inhale here and exhale, begin to lower ourselves back down to the mat. So we're going to go up one more time, staying in traditional bridge pose. We're taking a little bit deeper by wiggle walking our shoulders in to get a little bit more lift with the chest. Either way, we're all going to go up the same way together. So press the palms, press the feet as you inhale, press the knees away from you, lift everything up. You want to take it into the shoulders, interlace your fingers underneath of you, and we'll walk one shoulder in, followed by the other. Hips are still lifted high, gaze is still up at the ceiling. You're focusing on your breath. Two more full breaths. Good. One inhale together. And as you exhale, release the fingers underneath of you. Slowly lower yourself back down to the mat one vertebrae at a time. Release your shoulders. You're going to windshield wipe your knees side to side. Beautiful. So let's bring our knees up. And then allow them to fall to our left side. Getting ready for a supine twist. So your left hand can come on top of the right knee. And you want to extend your right arm out towards the right side. Shoulders, both of them, are on the mat. And you're gazing over towards your right fingertips. Now, if in this twist you find that your left shoulder is not on the mat, you can always stagger your legs. And see if that helps get the shoulder down. Two more deep breaths here. Beautiful. And that next inhale, knees come up to center. Both arms come in and we switch sides. The knees fall over to the right side now. Right hand on top of left knee. Extend the left arm out, looking over towards those left fingertips. Again, adjusting your legs, possibly scattering them if that helps keep the right shoulder on the mat. And two more deep breaths. One more, maybe. Beautiful. Bring the gaze back up to the ceiling. Bring the knees back up to the sky. From here, we're going to bring our knees up, maybe parallel with the mat. And hug ourselves into a ball. I'm trying to think of where we're going from here. You can rock side to side, forward and back. Maybe take some circles with your knees. 
going in one direction and then the other. You can also take your knees out and bring them in or in and bring them out. Just show them some love to your hip flexors. A lot of the times while working from home or even like me playing video games, I sit for extended periods and my legs don't like that. So always take time to just listen to your body and give it what it needs. Got it. Let's hug the knees into the chest one final time. And then begin to roll back and forth, building up some momentum to sit all the way up, crossing our feet. And now we're going to grab our strap, scarf, jeans, whatever you have. And we're going to start warming up our shoulders. Actually, I lied. We're going to start with the neck and then work to the shoulders. So we don't need this just yet. But coming to a comfortable seated position, a nice, tall, straight spine, not overly rounding forward or arching yourself. We're just trying to be neutral and comfortable. We're going to start just with some warm-ups with our neck. So we're resting your arms or your hands on your knees. We'll inhale here. And then exhale, drop right ear to right shoulder. Taking a few deep breaths here. You can also take your right fingertips and gently rest them on your head, allowing gravity to potentially bring the ear maybe a millimeter closer to your shoulder if it feels good. One more full breath. Next, inhale, return your neck to center and exhale, switch sides, dropping it towards the left shoulder. Again, you have the option to use the left fingertips or not. One more deep breath. Good. Inhale, return to the neck to center. And now as you exhale, drop the chin towards chest. Inhale, come back through center and take a slight extension up towards the ceiling, so looking up, not dropping the head all the way back. And then exhale, come back through center, tuck chin to chest. Moving with your breath here. Going as far or as little as you like. One more time, down and up, take your time. After that last time you come down, inhale, return the neck to neutral, and exhale, turn your head towards the right side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, turn to the left. Move with your breath here, and notice if your sides are different. This would be the one case where I don't encourage you to press yourself to balance out, because your neck is pretty delicate. So go as far as you can on one side and as far as you can on the other, but really don't push your limit. Just be aware, see how your body feels. Go back and forth one more time each side. And we'll inhale, return to neutral. Let's warm up our shoulders on our own before the strap. So again, resting the palms on your knees. We'll inhale, roll the ears, ears, your shoulders up to your ears. And then exhale, roll them down behind your back, pulling your scalp together. Yes, so inhale up. Exhale down and back. You can also rest your fingertips on your shoulders here. See if that feels any different for you. If you find more mobility or maybe less. Good. The next time, let's reverse it. So inhale, coming back and up. Exhale down. One more. Good. And now we'll come to the strap. 
So what I'm going to show you with the strap and what we're doing with the shoulders, the one thing I want you to pay attention to is your spine. Because I don't want us to take this into back bending if our shoulders are sore. We want to make most of the stretch in our shoulders. So, for example, if I have you come here, you can tell that already I'm arching my back. So there's going to be a lot of awareness to your core and bringing yourself to a neutral spine. So you might not find that you can go as far back. But that's kind of the point because you really want to feel everything in your shoulders, not in your back. So we're going to take the strap to be just more than shoulder width. Engage the core, a nice tall spine here. We're going to inhale, bring that strap straight up. Exhale, bring it back maybe an inch or two to when you start to feel some tension in your arms and your shoulders. And we're going to hold here. Keep the core nice and engaged. Both sit bones are on the mat. Good. Take one more full deep breath. Perfect. Inhale, bring the arms back up, stacking shoulders, elbows, wrists. And now we're going to dip our right arm down towards the right side for a lateral stretch. And here you can allow that right hand to come down the strap. Really help pull your left side open. Beautiful. One more deep breath. Inhale, come back up, walk your hands back to being slightly more than shoulder width. And we're going to take that little bit of a shoulder extension again. So inhale here, exhale, bring the arms back, keep the core engaged. Doing great. One more deep breath. Inhale, neutral spine. And now as you exhale, drop that left arm down towards the mat, pulling the right arm over. One more deep breath. Perfect. Inhale, let's come all the way up. Now this time you can take your arms really wide. I'm going to allow you to go all the way back. So let's actually all take our arms down in front of us. We're going to inhale, bring the strap straight up. And then exhale, come all the way down and back. And keep your arms really wide. They don't have to be close. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, drop it down. If this doesn't feel good going all the way back, you can always just kind of pulse here. So inhale, we'll all come up. Exhale, go all the way back or do that little hold. Inhale, back up. Exhale, down. Good. So two more times. Either way, move with your own breath. Last one. Good. And here, do some alternating shoulder rolls. Forwards and back. See how they're feeling. We have one more warm up with this strap. So this is kind of like a gym class stretch. It's also using cow facing pose where you take one arm to your spine and then the other one's supposed to come up and meet your fingers. And I know this is pretty challenging for a lot of people. And I'm going to assume that you think I'm going to have you take the strap and start walking your hands together. That's where you're wrong. For this, we're going to take it into our shoulders as well as into the front part of our arm here. So with yourself seated, let's start by lifting the right arm up to the sky. Exhale, placing the right hand at the base of your neck. You can also take the strap with you. That might be a smart idea. <laughs> so you have your hand at the base of your neck. Your right elbow is up towards the ceiling. And you're going to take your left arm down and behind you, but not walking up towards the strap. You want to keep it at the base of your low back and grabbing the strap here. And from here, what we're going to do is begin to press out with our left arm. And you might notice that your right arm wants to open up to the side. You want to keep that right elbow hugged towards your head. So the left arm is pressing out and down towards the mat. And the right elbow is beside your head. This is a really good stretch to also help you prepare for wheel pose. So 
So take two more deep breaths here. Last one. Good. Very gently bring that left arm back in. Drop the strap. And wiggle out the shoulders. See how they feel. And we'll take it to the left side. So strap in your left hand. Bring the left arm. Stacking straight up. And then place that left hand at the base of your neck. The right hand comes to your low back, grabbing the strap near your spine and your tailbone. We'll inhale here to prepare. And then exhale, press that right arm away. And left elbow stays very close to your head. Not wide, but in line. Good. Take three deep breaths. After that last one, you can go ahead, release the strap, move it out of the way, wiggle it on out, and we'll meet in tabletop. So wrist underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. Toes can be tucked or relaxed. We're now going to work on really warming up our wrist here. I promise we will get you some breath and movement, but I want us to be warmed up, and I want you to see these types of stretches and movements that you can do off the mat if you feel, you know, sore or tight. So starting in basic tabletop pose, we're just going to pulse forward and back onto our wrist. Those shoulders can go past the wrist. If you feel a little bit of tightness, maybe you hold for a moment and then go back. And now let's take it into some circles. Going in the other direction. Good. From here, we're going to actually sit our hips back, pressing the palms, bringing the fingertips up off the mat, holding here. And one more deep breath. Perfect, then come back, tabletop. Taking our fingertips and pointing them to the outside edges of our mat, let's shift side to side here. Good, and point the fingertips back towards the top of the mat. From here, let's spin our right fingertips towards the right side and all the way around to try and get your fingertips to point towards your right knee. Holding this here, or bending the elbow just a little bit to lift the palm up and press it back down. This is a pretty intense stretch, so you don't have to do this bend and press. You can just hold here. If you find that your fingertips aren't all the way back towards your knee and they're a little bit more at like a 45 degree, that's fine too. Listen to your body. Good. One more deep breath here. And spin that right hand back around. Maybe just gently do a, a little shoulder, shoulder, wrist roll here. Send your fingers out and in. And then set it back down. Left side, so spin those left fingertips towards the left knee. Holding here or doing that press and lift. Get one more breath here. And take the fingertips back towards the top of the mat and some gentle rolls. Release any tension. One of the last ones we're gonna do, we're gonna take the tops of our hands and place them on the mat with our fingertips pointing towards each other. We're gonna do these funky little push-ups. You don't have to worry about putting all your weight into your wrist. It's mostly just this movement of coming up and down. That does all the work. 
If you want to play with adding weight, you can try moving your knees closer or further away from your hands and seeing how that feels to you. You can do two more of these or not. It's up to you. Meet me in tabletop after you finish your two. Good. And let's see. Where do we want to go from here? Okay. All right, now, so let's sit back onto our heels. Feet can be tucked or down. Up to you. We're going to take our arms straight out in front of us. And I'm going to bring it back to some of my color guard uh, warm up. So taking your left hand, you're going to grab your right hand and then point your right fingers down towards the mat. You can very gently kind of lock your elbow in or keep it a little bit looser. Good. Let's now take our right fingertips, point them up towards the ceiling, use the left hand and gently pull those fingers back. Now one at a time, bring each finger back. And then switch sides. So right hand grabs the left palm, left fingers point down towards the floor. Bring the left fingers up towards the ceiling. And then one at a time, left fingers come back. Now, keeping your arms straight out, you're going to take your fingers and squeeze them into a tight ball. Keep your arms nice and engaged, and you don't want your shoulders to pull forward. You want them all in line and back, core is engaged. And from here, we'll do firecrackers. So you explode your, explode your fingers out and then squeeze them back in and go pretty fast with these. This not only warms up the wrist, but the arms as well. Let's add some movement now. So keep these explosions going, keeping the arms nice and tight. Let's bring the arms up, core is engaged, no rounding in the back, and now bring them back down. Up. Down with the exhale. Two more times, up. And down. Last one, up. Down, 10 more of these. Seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Good. If your toes are tucked, go ahead and untuck them. Press the arms onto the mat. Set the knees back, tabletop. And my last favorite warm up thread the needle just to finish off our shoulders here. So press the right arm firmly into the mat as you inhale, peel the left chest open. Exhale, thread the left arm underneath the right, left shoulder to the mat. Holding here or taking any variation you like with your right arm now. One more deep breath. As you inhale, return the right palm to the mat. Press firmly, keep inhaling, sweep the left arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, set it down. Switching sides, pressing firmly in the left. Inhale, sweep the right arm up. Exhale, thread right underneath left. And from here, mimic with your left hand what you did with your right. One more deep breath. And left palm returns to the face as you inhale, sweep the right arm up to the ceiling. Exhale, set it down. From here, we're going to take a modified side plank. So with your left ankle, you're going to move that over towards the left side of the mat. You're going to extend your right foot all the way back and spin those right toes down to be parallel with the back edge of the mat. From here, as you inhale, sweep the right arm open, peel that right shoulder blade, stack elbow, shoulder and wrist, <laughs> and hold here. If you want to add on, you can, with your breath, inhale, lift that right leg up off the mat. Holding, or maybe exhale, tap it down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. You have five more full deep breaths here, tapping, holding, 
or just staying here. And I believe one more. All of us now will lower the right leg down to the mat if it's not already. One full inhale. Exhale, lower the right arm down. You're going to spin that left ankle in, stack the right leg straight back, and then step the left foot to meet the right for a nice regular old high plank. And one full breath. One inhale. And then exhale, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. We're going to hold here. So make sure you pull the shoulders away from the ears. Really broaden the collarbones. I like to even turn out my hands a tiny bit so my index fingers aren't turning towards the top of the mat. Just to find a little bit more space for my shoulders. Your feet are pressing firmly down. So your thighs are lifted up off the mat. Good. One more full deep breath. If your fingers are pointed out, go ahead, point them back for, <laughs> forward. Inhale here. Exhale, go over those toes, downward facing dog. And pedal out your feet here. Bring your hips side to side if it feels good. Perfect. And as you're ready, we're going to settle into stillness. So index fingers pointed towards the top of the mat. The insides of your elbows are rotating up towards the ceiling as you drop your chest. Bring the gaze towards or in between your legs. And your heels are racing to touch the mat if they're not already. Of course, slightly engaged here. Three deep breaths. Last full one. Beautiful. Inhale, let's roll forward, high plank. Exhale, drop the knees back down, tabletop. And we're going to take that side plank uh, the opposite side. So taking your right ankle now, bring it over towards the right side. Extend the left leg straight back and rotate on those toes to be parallel with the back edge of the mat. Press firmly into your right arm as you inhale, peel the left shoulder up. Fingertips towards the ceiling, gaze follows. Holding here. Or on that next inhale, find a lift, hold here. Last option for the next five breaths, you can also tap and lift. Three more. Two more. Last time tapping or holding. Perfect. Everyone now lower that left foot back down towards the mat. Taking the left arm that also lowers back down. We're going to bring our right ankle in as we step the left foot all the way back, pressing into our hands. We step the right foot back. High plank. One inhale here. Exhale, we're going to lower down chaturanga. Inhale, open up, upward facing dog. Holding here and breathing. See how your wrists feel. See how your shoulders feel. One more inhale. Now exhale. Go over those toes. Downward facing dog. Settle in here. Two deep breaths. Beautiful. Next inhale, look up in between the palms. And as you exhale, walk yourself forward, fold, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Set the crown to the top of the room, tailbone to the back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift again. Hands can be on the thighs or on the mat. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift. Exhale, fold. Beautiful. Inhale, press into the feet. Begin to rise up slowly, one vertebrae at a time. Pull the shoulders down and back. Allow the arms to come out to the sides. Fingertips spread wide. Tadasana. Good. From here, inhale, sweep the palms up to the ceiling. Exhale.
exhale, hands, heart center. Inhale, sweep. Exhale, heart center. Inhale, sweep the palms up. Exhale, here and hold and take note of your body and your alignment. Make sure that you're firmly pressing down with the triangle underneath your foot. So it is the toe pad of your big toes as well as your pinky toes and a straight line back to your heel. You're engaging your legs. You're lifting up and out of your kneecaps. Your quads are tight. Your core is tight. The tailbone is tucked. The nips are, the ribs are knitted in, but the shoulders are back and away from the ears. Holding here nice and strong. Fingertips are spread wide. We're going to come into a standing twist here. So let's inhale. And exhale, we're going to twist open towards the right side. So right arm comes behind you. Left arm is out in front of you. From here, take that left hand, place it on your left hip. And you're going to square both your hips towards the top of the room. I want your hand to be open, so not pointing down or up, but open out to the side. Getting into our shoulders here. Now you might notice that when you were here, you were almost in a perfectly straight line. But as soon as you squared up your hips, your right arms come in a little bit. And that's fine. That's supposed to happen. So holding here, seeing how that feels in your arm. Again, fingertips spread nice and wide. How's the shoulder feel? If it feels really intense, you can always bring it in a little bit. But as long as your fingertips are spread wide, you're getting the engagement throughout your whole arm. Good. Let's inhale, sweep both arms back up, come to center, and now exhale, switching sides. So start by fully opening up towards the left side. Left arm behind you, right arm in front of you. Right hand comes to right hip. As you pull the right hip to square it up, the left arm will come in a little bit. Keep gazing over that left shoulder. Fingertips are spread wide. Go ahead, take one more full deep breath here. Perfect. Inhale, bring both arms up. Exhale, let's sit back, chair pose. So make sure you can see your toes go past your knee. The tailbone is tucked, the core is engaged, a nice flat back. Hands can be at heart center. Good, holding here. And we're gonna take another twist again, peeling the shoulder blade open, opening up, and feeling great here. So we're gonna start by twisting to the right. So let's take an inhale here to start. And exhale, left elbow towards the outside of the right knee. As you press your left elbow into your right knee, notice that your left knee might creep forward, just as we did before. Push that back. Keep that in a nice straight line. You might find that you don't peel open as much, and that's okay. Gazing down towards your toes, or if you'd like, you can open the arms up. Gaze up towards the right fingertips. With the arms opening, just be aware if that left knee starts to creep forward, pull it back in. Uh, two more deep breaths. Last inhale. Exhale, bring hands back to heart center in the twist. Inhale here. Exhale, let it go. The next inhale, return to chair pose. Exhale, hinge of the hip forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat, step it back high, and keep exhaling through your low plank chaturanga. Inhale, open those collarbones, upward facing dog. Exhale, over those toes, downward facing dog. And inhale, sweep the right leg up to the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. And then step that foot in between your palms, spin those left toes down 45 degrees. Before rising up into warrior one, Take note of how your hips feel. Decide if you want to do heel to arch alignment or even wiggle out your feet so you're a little bit on train tracks. You'll find you'll have a little bit more opening in your hips. So as you inhale now, press firmly into the feet. Lift up. Warrior one, arms up to the ceiling. 90 degree angle bend in that front knee. The back knee is not relaxed. It is nice and straight. Tailbone is slightly tucked, so you're not super arching in the back here, but you're nice and centered. And 
And from here, we're gonna do more shoulder work. I suggest doing one or two of these and then either returning to warrior or keep following me depending on how your body and how your shoulders feel. We're gonna take cactus arms here. So let's inhale. And then exhale, we're gonna open the elbows up wide to the side, fingertips spread wide, shoulder blades going down and back. Inhale back up. Exhale, cactus. Inhale. Cactus. And two more. Last time. Cactus. Beautiful. Inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, float them down to the mat. Step that right foot back to meet the left. And go down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One full breath here. And one more inhale as we bring the gaze up towards our fingers. And exhale, let's walk ourselves forward, fold, top of the mat. As we inhale now, nice halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Inhale, we press into the mat. Begin to rise up, sending the arms all the way up to the ceiling. Fingertips spread wide. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, sit back, chair pose, bring hands to heart center. Take any little adjustments you need to feel comfy here. We're going to take that twist to the left side now. So one, inhale. Exhale, right elbow outside the left knee. Pull that right knee back so it's not jutting forward. And hang out here as the left shoulder braid begins to stack over the right. Holding here and potentially opening up the arms to spread wide. Just pay attention to see what that right knee is doing. Good. One more full breath. Good. Inhale, hands back to heart center and exhale here. Inhale, regular old chair pose. Exhale, hinge up the hip forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, nice spot back. Exhale, fold again. One more halfway lift. And now as you exhale, place the hands on the mat. Step or walk yourself out to a high plank. And keep exhaling through your low plank chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, let's sweep the left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Step that foot in between your palms and spin those right toes down 45 degrees. And again, see if you want to have heel to arch alignment or a little bit more stagger. On your next inhale, press firmly into the feet. Rise up, warrior one, fingertips spread wide. Breathing deeply here. And checking in with yourself. Uh, we'll move on to cactus arms now. So we'll inhale here. Exhale, elbows come out to the side, fingertips wide. Inhale up. Exhale, cactus. Remember, you can just hold warrior one if your shoulder blades are a little tired. It's fine. We have two more cactus arms if you're following along. Last one. Beautiful. All of us inhale, arms up to the ceiling. Exhale, float the hands down to the mat. Step that left foot back to meet the right high plank. And exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Inhale, let's sweep the right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose. Step in between those palms. Spin the left toes down 45 degrees. Root firmly in your feet. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, cactus. Inhale, warrior one. Now exhale, open up, warrior two. Back foot is now parallel with the back edge of the mat. Hips come to your side wall. Front knee is still bent, arms out to a T. Holding here if you like, or if you want some more with your shoulders, you can spin your palms so your thumbs face up, and then very gently beat your shoulders back couple of inches, pulling the shoulder blades together. 
If your shoulders are really tired, but maybe you want to work your wrists some more, you can flex your palms up and press the arms away. Try both as you hold warrior two. See what is working and resonating with you. If neither are and you're tired of this, hands can always come to heart center as well. You have five full deep breaths here. Good. Two more deep breaths. You've got this. Beautiful. Wherever you are, let's bring our arms out to the T. Palms are facing down. From here on our next inhale, we're going to come back to warrior one. So toes at a 45 degree, potentially stepping in. Exhale, float the hands down to the mat. Step that right foot back to meet the left. Chaturanga or holding a plank too. You have that option. We'll all meet in downward facing dog. Follow your breath. Good. On the next inhale, send that left leg high up into the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Step the left foot in between the palms. Spin the right toes down to the mat. 45 degrees. As you inhale, press into the mat. Rise up, warrior one. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Settling in here, making any adjustments you need with your body before deciding on if you'd like to beat the shoulders back for five breaths. Keep the palms flat, fingertips up, pressing leg. Or even hands to center. Up to you, five breaths starts now. One more deep breath. Good. And we'll all return. Warrior two, palms facing down, fingertips pointing towards the top and the back of the room. On our next inhale, let's return to warrior one, palms sweep up. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step the left foot back to meet the right high plank. We'll inhale here together. And now exhale, lower yourself all the way down to the mat. You can also take knees, chest, chin. And allow your whole body to come down here. Palms can be down on the mat. And you can turn your head onto your favorite cheek. Connecting with your breath here. Beautiful. So our last little bit of shoulder work today. You can lift your neck on up. You're going to take your arms and make them the cactus arms again. You're going to work to press one shoulder into the mat, so we'll start with the right. So from here, take the left fingertips and come up on them. So your left arm is like here. You're going to bend into the left knee and then press into those left fingertips to lift the left hip off the mat. So your left toes come over towards the right side. Your left arm is pushing, so your right shoulder is coming into the mat. And you're holding here. You also have the option, instead of having the right arm in cactus, you can extend it all the way out. See how that feels? I find that opens me up a little bit, and I can press a little bit more to really lift that hip. Take two more full deep breaths here. Good. Very slowly begin to bring that left leg back to center, lowering it down, bringing both arms back to cactus if you move them out. Lower the forehead to the mat. Just take a minute and see how the right shoulder feels. And we'll get ready for the left side. So we start in cactus arms no matter what, coming up on the right fingertips now. Bend into the right knee, and as you press into the right hip, lift the right hip up as you begin to press the left shoulder into the mat. Again, don't forget, you can extend the left arm all the way out. You don't have to keep it in the cactus. See how that feels compared to having it in the cactus. And we're holding here three deep breaths.
Beautiful. Very slowly. Return the right leg back down to the mat, coming out of this. You can extend your arms long and turn your head on the opposite cheek. Rest a moment. Wiggle it out. See how you feel. Now, we have one more bit of shoulders today. I'm going to show you the modification because, again, I don't want you to be in pain tomorrow. <laughs> so if bow pose is a lot today, that's fine. You're going to take space. So for sphinx pose, let's bring our forearms in front of us, pressing into them. To make sure that they are shoulder width apart, take opposite hand, opposite elbow, and press those fingers firmly into the mat. Fingertips are spread wide. You're lifting with your chest. And you don't want your shoulders to be towards your ears. We can just hold here. In fact, we will just hold here. We don't need to do bow bows. I'm feeling very like energy filled because of this class. I'm like, of course I can do bow pose now, but like, how tired am I going to be tomorrow? So I'm going to have my mind tell my body now. And I think you should too. But it's your practice. And if while we're holding here, you're just like, you know what? Bow pose is where I can go. I'll be fine. Feel free, but please be careful. If you want to do bow pose, you're going to come all the way down, bend into the knees, send your hands towards your ankles or your feet. And as you inhale, kick into the feet, lift the chest. And then very slowly, with an exhale, you come down. That is up to you. I'm doing sphinx. Let's hold here five deep breaths. Or in your bow pose. One more full breath. Good. Inhale together. And then exhale. Come all the way down. Forehead to the mat. And with my least elegant transition, we're just going to roll onto our backs. Playing all the way flat. Palms will rest to our sides. And we'll take a happy baby to finish off. So hug the knees into the chest to start. Take the hands to the outsides of the feet. And then bring the knees towards the armpits as you open up your legs wide. Rocking side and side, side to side, back and forth. Knees into the chest one more time. Let's keep the right knee where it is. Extend the left leg long. Just to show our hips a tiny bit more left today. Take that right knee and move it over towards the right side. Maybe an inch or two so it's just to the outside of your ribcage. Not really resting on it so much. Maybe take some circles with your right ankle. Give our wrist a lot of love. But our feet and our ankles need them too. Need the left. Good. Hug right knee into the chest and allow the left leg to come up and meet it. Keep the left leg where it is. Extend the right leg long onto the mat. Great. And then left knee just to the outside of the left ribs. Bring that left knee back in. Hug the right knee into the chest and pull the shoulders up off the mat. Make yourself into a super tiny ball and create as much tension as you can. Really curl your toes and engage every muscle group that you can imagine. We'll inhale here. And then exhale, let it all go. Extend the legs long. Bring the arms overhead. Take a nice full body stretch. And then let everything go. Allow your arms to fall to the side. Allow your feet to take up as much space as you like. Flutter the eyes closed. Connect with your breath for a moment or two. 
go back over that checklist you had in the beginning of how your body felt. See if anything feels different. Maybe a little bit looser, maybe more warmed up, maybe no tension at all, maybe a little extra tension. Bring your awareness back to your breath. Allow that little checklist to slip from your mind and settle into your meditative state. And as you begin to return from your meditative state, keeping your eyes closed, take some gentle movements with your fingers and with your toes. Remaining here for a moment, as you continue to inhale and exhale, I would like you to envision a light or a warm sensation at your heart center. Maybe as you breathe in, you feel that light expand, that warmness expand. And then as you exhale, it contracts in. Or maybe it does something else. Hone in and see how this feels or what you see for yourself. But focus on this light, this sensation. And take a minute and see if at your heart center there's anything that you might need today. Focus on that want or that need as that light and that sensation expands and contracts. On that next inhale, you're gonna send that ball of light up through your spine, through the skull, and just outside the crown of your head. Keep envisioning that sensation as you breathe here. The ball, that sensation is still expanding and contracting. while it's still hovering just outside the crown of the head on that next inhale, allow it to expand and be filled up with whatever that thing you need is today. And exhale, it contracts in closing and holding that energy, that love, that warmth, whatever you need here. Ball is still here as you inhale, it expands, it takes in a little bit more. Exhale, it brings it back in. One more time, inhale, take in everything that you could possibly need. Exhale, now allow that ball to move down your spine back to your heart center. As you inhale, it expands, it fills your heart, and it spreads throughout your entire body, all the way to your fingertips and your toes. Inhale, allow that ball to come back in, but now it's pulling in everything you don't need. Exhale, it contracts into a very tight ball containing all that negativity. Inhale, you're sending that ball up through the spine, just to the crown of your head. Exhale, hold it here. Inhale, allow that energy, that ball, to expand and release what you don't need. 
and exhale, it closes back in. Inhale, we hold this vision here. Exhale, we send that ball of light back down through the spine to the heart center. As we inhale, we envision that ball, that warmth glowing and opening one more time. And exhale, it dispels throughout your whole body. On the next inhale, go ahead and hug your knees into your chest, coming into a nice little ball. And then very slowly rolling onto your right side, using your arms as a pillow. I'm getting comfy here just for a breath or two. Take this time, this moment, to honor your practice today and all the transformation that has occurred within your mind, within your body, and within your soul. As slowly as you like, you can meet me in a comfortable seated position, bringing your hands to your heart center and fluttering your eyes closed here. If you like, you may join me in one ohm to end the practice today. Inhaling together. Um. Thank you all so much for joining me today. I hope you like the class. Yeah, I hope you all feel good. Um, any questions, comments, please let me know. You can reach out to me through this, Instagram, whatever. Um, these classes are free or donation-based, so if you would like to donate, you can do it through PayPal by using my username, which is LexiCoreYoga at gmail.com, and you can send whatever you like if you'd like to. I've also put that email in the little comment section. I'm glad you liked it, Annie. Glad you liked it, Rachel. Um, if you do, if you follow that along a whole bunch and you feel pretty sore in your shoulders or your wrists tomorrow, don't keep repeating those exercises because you've already really warmed it up. So tomorrow, notice how you feel. I wouldn't do more weight about a day. And yeah, just kind of go and play. But a lot of those things you don't need to do a full class for. Like if you're just working and playing video games, you're just like, oh, I have a blanket here. Let me, you know, loosen up my shoulders. Let me loosen up my wrists. Let me feel good so yeah glad you all liked it um yeah i hope you have a great day if you are into tarot readings and you head over to my instagram i'm doing free card readings today because i actually know what day of the week it is unlike last week and yeah i'm gonna go make lunch now and kind of just relax and chill um as always thank you so much for joining me um this class was suggested by someone so i usually post on sundays when people want to have the class and suggestions for what they want so if you want something particular, let me know, and I'll do my best to make it happen. But thank you, Rachel Flick, Rachel Hines, Annie, whoever number four is. I'm grateful for you. And, yeah, enjoy your Thursday. Please reach out if you need anything. Thank you, guys. I'll see you around, and I'll see you around to the people that aren't watching this live. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh, it's not letting me in. Oh, no. Oh, there we go. Okay, and bye.